if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mariah and I have no shame in my game. I want to show you all my outfit. I'm about to have to go help my husband weed eat. He is going to cut the grass and I'm going to weed eat because we only have a few hours to do it. And uh, we live on three acres of land, so it takes a hot minute. I wanted to show you guys my little ensemble. Yep, we're doing it. We are doing it. This is just, this is class party people. Just class. All right, so I'm gonna get going. This is gonna be fun. I have full makeup on because I filmed a video today. Went to work today, did the whole nine. But now we're gonna weedy. Well, I am officially annoyed. So let me just tell you, Ugh. So I work from home, I'd say 80% of the time now. I still like to come into the office every now and then just because it makes me feel efficient. But I work from home because there really isn't anybody who works in my office full time now. They all work from home as well. So I, I get up early, get ready. Usually when I work from home, I don't, like I'll get up super early, work until lunch, and then I'll get ready at lunchtime. I get up and I come to work get here. I don't know why my contour looks super extreme on camera, but it is not that bad. Um, I get up, I come to work and about five minutes after walking in the door, we get an email that our internet is down. And so I'm basically useless because I cannot access any of my drawings. So I got to pack up all my crap and go home, which is super annoying because I have three bags probably weighing over 10 pounds each. Like it's just so annoying. So I'm really frustrated. Ugh. And on top of that, my arms are super sore from weed eating yesterday, so I'm like a nun on the log, but I seriously don't know why my contour is like so extreme, why it looks so bad on camera. It is not that bad. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know how irritated I am right now. I wanted to vent for a second because this is so annoying. This happens every time. Every time I come into the office, I get up, I get ready, I get here, I'm here at 8, I'm ready to go. Oh, internet's down. This is why I just work from home all the time now, so. I'm going to get moving. I'm going to go home. Frustrated. Ugh! Hey, guys. So, it's been a few hours later. I got home uh, and struggled, basically, for the entire day. Like, I fought tooth and nail with the Wi-Fi to finish until I finally just said, okay, it's 5 o'clock. I'm not fighting anymore. And um, so I was able to get some work done, but not all. And it's just like the most annoying thing in the entire world when you can't do your job because of a technical issue and not like I just suck at my job or I'm doing something wrong or something like that. So I'm a little frustrated. We're going um, later, though, to do something for Sam's job. So that'll be exciting. It's like a little parade and a free barbecue, something, something. I mean, I get food, so I'm there, you know. Uh, but I wanted to vent about something really quickly. So, and I say quickly, I hope it's quick. So, it's actually about my wedding series. Um, it's been something that's been on my mind a little for a little while now to just kind of talk with you guys about. And I think if, if you are a part of my main channel, you already know that I have a very strong wedding series. If you aren't a part of that and you're just on the vlog channel, I have a wedding series on my main channel. It has like 40 some videos. I mean, it's just insane. It's just, it's huge. And I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to help people. And then I started the wedding series because I wanted to help brides. And it turned into such a big thing and it was so much fun. And I helped so many of you guys plan your weddings. And I even have a blog, um, a wedding sec tab on my blog. And it, the frustration of this comes because I've been married for almost a year. And I love getting to help people. But lately, I've been getting more sassy messages rather than sweet messages from brides because they're pissed off because, like, a lot of them either, like, just got engaged recently or have been engaged for a long time and then are about to get married. And they're pissed off that I've stopped making wedding series videos. Well, I got married, like... I, I can't talk about my wedding forever. I, I just can't. And I wanted initially for them to die down about a month after the wedding, but I, I carried them on for much longer than that. And I shared even more tips and like even stuff that you don't see on my YouTube channel. Like I said, I've shared on my blog. 
And there have been two comments that I got in the past, like, week that have just really just irritated me. So the first one was basically someone saying that, um, I've requested this video multiple times, why have you not made it? That's so rude. Okay, well, first of all, like I said, I'm married, so it would be really stupid um, for me to continue to make videos forever featuring, you know, wedding series stuff. But also, if I sat around and made videos for every single request that I ever got, I would have no life. I would do nothing. I would literally just sit around every day and make video requests. But even more than that, I have already talked about the topic she asked me to talk about. It's just in another video. Because I don't have specific wedding series videos, this one particular thing was wedding day stressors. I don't know why it's such a big deal to her that I make this one video about things that stressed me out on my wedding day because we don't even actually know each other. Things that stress me out could not stress her out or vice versa. And so I made a video. It's a wedding Q&A. And I talked about that. And I've talked about it on blog posts after. Just because I didn't make a specific video doesn't mean I haven't talked about it. But also, don't get sassy with me because I didn't do what you wanted. Like, that's just so rude. And it, it, it just, it really bothers me. The second one was basically someone saying, you know, as a YouTuber, it's kind of your job to help us. And how dare you assume that we should just stop requesting videos because you're married. Well, I didn't say to stop requesting videos, but I mean, I'm, I'm just... I'm not going to make that many wedding series videos anymore, especially because 99% of all of the stuff that I've talked about is all I can really talk about. And, and this one girl made a comment one time. She said, I'm meeting with my florist in an hour, and I need a list of questions to ask her. Thanks. Sure. Let me just drop what I'm doing right now and write out a list of questions. That's feasible. Guys, I can't just sit around all day, like, I don't know her florist, I don't know her venue, I don't know when she's getting married, I don't know where she's getting married, those questions do matter when it comes to a florist, and yeah, I haven't made a list of questions to ask your florist, because I recommended a book that talked about what questions to ask your florist, so I think I'm just really frustrated with people's lack of care, and remembering that I'm human, um, and also that I'm married and that I just, I don't know any bride out there on YouTube and they may be there, but I don't know any bride out there who, who's been married for a year and still talks about our wedding on YouTube consistently. And so I think I've just more or less just vented about these rude comments that I've gotten, but I can't continue wedding series videos forever. I've shared every ounce of knowledge that I have. And sometimes there are just things that you just have to kind of figure out on your own. Um, like what to ask a florist. Yeah, I could use the Mini Wise Wedding Planner book till I was blue in the face, but my florist was different than every other florist out there except for the girls who have used her. So my whole point in saying this is just be kind to me, to other YouTubers, and understand that, yes, we do like helping you. That is something that we aim to do with our YouTube channels, but don't be rude and just be like, well, I mean, you need to understand that's your job. That's extremely rude, like extremely inconsiderate. And I, I mean, I've made a video about that. Like, go to my playlist, look at the videos, go to my blog, use the search bar. Like, guys, I've put so much wedding info out there. It's crazy. And I just, I cannot keep doing it. I am happily married and I am ready to focus on married life. Not my daggum wedding. I made the biggest joke. I think I've actually even made it on my YouTube channel a few times. And I said, when my wedding is there and I am walking down the aisle, I will be 80% crying because I'm getting married and 20% crying because I will be done planning a wedding. And dang, if that is not the truth. I literally, at the reception, remember telling a girl who was also bright, I was like, I'm so excited. I'm done planning my wedding and you will be too soon. So it's just like, you get to a point where you're so excited to be done with it because you're so excited to be married and it's so stressful. So I will not be, I've circled this entire time, I will not be making any more wedding series videos. Um, the biggest request I continue to get is, will you make a wedding series video on how to change your last name? The answer is absolutely not. It is 
different for every state. Some states give you a temporary license. Some states mail you your license. Some states give you your license that day. My state, where I live, South Carolina, they gave me my license that very day with my name change. That's not the same for all states. So you need your license to change your name in some places. In other places, you don't. You need your social security card. The social security offices, although they are all the same government offices, they are different in each state. So no, I'm not going to make a video about that because it's just different and I don't want my videos to be specific to South Carolina brides. So that was the longest rant ever, but I just felt like I needed to vent and tell you guys why I'm not making any more wedding series videos and that the rude comments about it need to chill because I am over reading them and I'm over people asking about wedding day stressors. It was the best day of my life. Go watch the q and I, I probably mentioned one or two things there, but it's the most least stressful day, like, ever. So, that's all for that. I gotta get ready to go. <laughs> now that I've just been so sassy. That's my sassy side. Look at all that. Look at all that weed-eated yard. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what you call it. This back here is a little rough. Ooh. Look at that. And then we have a whole row in our front yard of these like really big, they go for super long time, like purple bushes. It's pretty. I did all that. I did that. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we are going to a horse, oh, horse parade? Horse festival? It, yeah, it's, horse. A, it's a parade to celebrate the heritage Don't of the, say where of it the is. town and its roots in the horse community. And then they're putting on a, a barbecue community dinner type thing afterwards at a local park. Yeah, free barbecue, so I'm there. Um, I'm not gonna probably, I'll try to, sorry the camera's so shaky. And there will probably be more people at the park for the barbecue than at the parade. That's true, but I'm, willing to I'm gonna try to vlog some, but I don't think I'll be able to because I feel like there's gonna be a sign or something that says where it's located. And I'm very cautious about that because the town that we're going to is the town that he works in. So we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll get nothing. Maybe I'll get something. You'll get all the doggies. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Look, they have trackers on them. They have trackers on them. That's when they go hunting. They just let them loose. I love that. Oh my gosh. Look at your I think it might be either somebody from it. Look! Oh, look at that horse. Gosh, I like want one. They painted little circles. Hey guys, so we just got home. It is disgusting outside, which is why my hair looks like this. I got completely soaked when we were going to the grocery store. So, as you can see behind me, there is nothing on the wall. We are about to start hanging those photos, so I'm going to time lapse it and show it to you guys. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like done. I am super excited. My lovely husband is going to hang them. It's 12 picture frames. Gotta get them all straight. Let's see if we can do this. like an hour and a half an hour probably like 45 minutes I'm being dramatic it's done they're a little farther apart than I wanted them to be or what I guess I originally had thought Sam told me if I wanted to move to call my dad and see if my dad loves me more than him because <laughs> he's not moving them I can't blame him so what we're gonna do is just leave them if it grows on me it grows on me if it doesn't we'll move them in like six months I'm not gonna stress about it so I'll show it to you now, and that is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. And I hope that I see you in my next vlog.